So we have not really been talking about our Patreon that much. What's a Patreon? So Patreon is where people can go to our Patreon page and help support the show. They can go to patreon.com slash honest tattooer. And uh, we got our first patron. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Woohoo. Right. Where? How? Shout out to you. Yeah. So uh, um, I, that's right. I, I do want to give a shout out to Jess. She, uh, she's a client of mine. She's also a tattooer. Uh, so Jess, thank you very much for being our very first patron. Jess, thank you so much for loving us. Yeah. Showing Thanks, us some Jess. love. Boop, boop, so uh, boop, boop. if you want to be like Jess, go to patreon.com slash honest tattooer and you can help support the show like Jess does. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Honest Tattooer. We're a tattoo podcast for tattoo enthusiasts, tattoo lovers, and industry insiders worldwide. Each week we sit down with people from the industry and we discuss tattoo topics. And we want to welcome you to today's podcast and this episode is all about pain tattoo pain to be exactly so tattooing is a popular form of self-expression and a way to create a lasting piece of art on people's body but there's no secret that getting a tattoo can be a painful experience and in fact the pain of tattooing is often cited as one of the main concerns that people have when trying to get a tattoo and despite pain many people still choose to get tattoos me being one of them and most people because of it they believe that the pain is worth it at the end of the day, it's part of the tattoo experience. And how can one manage the pain during the tattoo process? Well, in this episode, we'll explore what it's like to get tattooed. So, whether you're a seasoned tattoo enthusiast or considering getting your first tattoo, join us today as we dive into the topic of tattoo pain. What's up, guys? My name is John Mesa, and I have a few people with me here today. My co-host, Matt Triano. Hey, 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 hey. And on the couch today, we have Tabitha. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so today we wanted to talk about something that we've all dealt with and something that everyone that wants to get a tattoo usually considers, and that's pain. So, I mean, I'm, I have a lot of tattoos, and I can say that from my experience, I mean, I, can, I have tattoos that I could put at a two or a three pains-wise, and I have, like, 12s you know and 12 out of 10 yeah okay. out, of, out of 10 12 out of 10 where i was like i'm gonna die today <laughs> today this might be my last day getting tattooed because this is insane and then of course you forget about how much it hurt and then you do it all over again right um but it's crazy because tattoo pain makes such a difference that i've had clients that like always consider they're like i really want to get this here but i would get it somewhere else if it will hurt less yeah. And I think that that's wild because I'm like, dude, this is only like temporary and you're going to have that tattoo for the rest of your life. So uh, you have a lot of a good amount of tattoos, Tabitha. Yes. Um, out of all of them, which one would you say hurt the most? So I have a I have a Phoenix on my rib. Yeah. Uh, I'm not happy with the way it came out. Um, I was 12 hours, two different sessions, and I did it about I did it when I was 23. Um, so about three years ago, JK, (laughs) (laughs) I did it a long time ago and I have been avoiding that spot, getting it covered, getting it lasered because that is the worst tattoo experience I've ever, I'm pretty good with pain, but like I literally had to tell the tattooer like, Hey dude, uh, give me a second. And I went to the bathroom and I cried like if somebody died. I mean, anytime you tell a tattooer. That that person wants, oh, like, where do you want to get this tattoo? And you're like, I want it on my ribs. You're like, oh. Yeah. As a tattooer, both, you're like, oh, this is going to be difficult for me. It's going to be, which is going to make it difficult. That was weird. And it's going to make it difficult for them. Yeah, that you know? sucks for everybody right It there. sucks for yes. everybody. You know, any tattoo done on the ribs, it's a harder tattoo to execute. And it's a harder tattoo for the person to sit for. Um, but by any means, don't stop getting your ribs tattooed. Because they look good. It looks great. But overall, my ribs also are, are pretty much at like, I'd say at least an 8, 9 yeah. in the pain scale. My uh, my rib cage didn't hurt so bad. It hurt more as it went down in that like fleshy area between mm. your hip and your ribs. Yeah. Like that's where it hurt for me. Yeah, that hurts a lot. It's, it's, it's funny because people, there's all these like misconceptions of like uh, getting tattooed on a bone it's gonna hurt 
not necessarily always true. Yeah, no, I don't. You know, don't agree same with thing that. of like if you're if you're fatter, you know, or if you're if you're you have more weight on you, if you're skinny, it's gonna hurt more. If you're fatter, it's gonna hurt less. All these things are not true. They're not true at all. I I one hundred percent believe that it just it it goes uh, by the individual. Yeah, you know, like for for me, people ask me all the time, "Oh man, do elbows hurt?" I'm like, my elbows did not hurt at all. I felt I felt like the the spots around my elbow yes. were more painful than the actual bone itself, and then people will one hundred percent disagree with me on that one. Like no way. Yeah. And I, oh man, I feel like that's one of those things too that it's it's hard to. Well, it's happening, you know, it's hard to realize it because it's, it's, you know, it's your elbow and it's like it, the whole, exp- you think about the whole experience, you know, but I feel like as a tattooer, you see how the person reacts. Yes. So you're able to see it a little bit clearer than them because they're still in the moment, which brings a subject of like, you know, how much pain is also part of the process. You know, it's nice to remove it uh, to a certain extent with like topical creams and things like that. But I do think for a lot of people, the pain, it's kind of correlated with the, the emotion and, and the, the experience of like, oh, man, it was really hard. I got through it. I feel like I earned it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And like, uh, especially when people are getting tattoos that are either made for memorial reasons or for religious reasons or for cultural, cultural reasons, the pain is something that kind of gives the tattoo itself more worth to them. You know, it's a personal thing, you know, when it's like, you know, if you if you get a memorial tattoo, it does connect that emotion of loss, pain. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, it's, I've had people get super, super emotional when they're getting a tattoo, you know, especially when it's hurting and they're crying for, because it hurts, but they're crying because of the connection of, you know, who they decided to get a tattoo for. Yeah. That's how I felt about my blackout when you did my blackout, John. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, have a crazy, you know, tattoo experience and journeys throughout my life. You know, I was young, getting tattooed, working at a tattoo shop. Show me your arm, by the way. Just, um, so I have this blackout now. Look at how black that is. Things black. It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, we still have a lot more to go. Um, so yeah, I've been working at a tattoo shop since I was 19. And the person who I was back then is not the person who I am now. And not even, I'm not even interested in the kind of artwork that I got tattooed. So I was like, hey, John, can you black this out? He's like, cool. And while he was doing it, it was like, I felt, I did feel a ton of pain. But in my head, like talking to myself, I'm like, you know, shut the fuck up. This is worth it. You're, you earn this. Like, this is like, I felt like a phoenix, you know, like rising, you know what I mean? Just like in transition, I'm like, beauty is pain. And first of all, this is what you get for being stupid. this is what you that's the bow bow that you get and um yeah what you were saying is completely relevant and that's how i felt and after i'm like you know what it's cool i did it i feel like i earned this and i can't wait to get more i think it's big with cover-ups because like you know for example you you know like you know you can't like a snake you can't shed skin but in your case you know it's like you're getting brand new skin Mm -hmm. you know and you're getting rid of that past and you're like oh this is so fresh so new i feel so good the rebirth yeah which is tight it's super tight man i got uh back to my roots before i never finished it and it wasn't because of the pain like yeah it, it sucked but it got to the point where similar situation where just like the process was so long and I was getting it when I was so young, I didn't have enough money to like go consistently and finish the tattoo. So over the time that it from started to where it is right now, I just developed, I wouldn't say a hatred for this tattoo, but I definitely did, did not like it anymore. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't going to spend any more money to complete a tattoo that I wasn't into. Of course. Yeah. But I think you would like money and pain. You don't want to go through pain. <laughs> more. Yeah, it's yeah, something yeah. you're not into yeah. and the money. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, like I would never cover that up or laser it off for the pain now. Yeah. Mm. It's just like not worth it to me. It's Dude. Just, I'd rather just deal with it and just live with the tattoo that I just like. So I got my ribs lasered because I have, I had a big cover up on my ribs and uh, part of it wasn't fully covered. It still is it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, you could still see it through uh, the new tattoo. So like. Me and the artist agreed. I was like, I'm just gonna get that la- this area where that is lasered, so it's light enough, so then it could, it'll it won't be just dark, you know. And then I get it lasered maybe three times, and getting my ribs lasered was one of the most painful spots that 
and I've gotten lasered a lot. And I was, that was like, wow, that was intense. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've had a few experiences that triggered like instant sweats. Right. <laughs> <laughs> One is like public speaking, you know, until you get used to public speaking, you get, you, you get on a stage and you got to start talking, man, just instant sweats. Right. Mm. Getting my palms tattooed. That shit was like, as soon as the needle hit, it was just like, just, just <laughs> yeah. lip, upper lip, just wet, you know, just shiny. And then getting my ribs lasered. It was like, as soon as it started, the first, and I was like, Ooh. whoa, just hot. Just like, wow, this is bad. This is really bad. Super I don't know if this is going to end. And that was absolutely atrocious. Um, but let's talk about one misconception, which is tattoo pain is unbearable. Ah! Well, getting a tattoo, I mean, it can be uncomfortable, but it by no means is it ever completely unbearable. Nah, if it were unbearable, people wouldn't be lined up out the door getting tattooed. Yeah. Yes. Right? And I feel like depending on, you know, the person, like you're saying, you know, I've had people, just like I'm complaining about my getting my palms tattooed and how it's terrible, I've seen people sit through a palm tattoo like it's absolutely nothing. Because they were just quiet, zen, and just focused on what they wanted, and they were just, like, still. And then you'll see people lose their minds. So I think, like, the, the, the power of your own thoughts, you know, when you're getting tattooed is a huge way that's going to get you through the tattoo on its own, you yeah. know? I try to, like, give people advice when they're getting tattooed. It's like, hey, you can either do two things. Either be right here and be present and know that you're getting tattooed and know that this is going to hurt and accept the pain that's coming to you. And you be like, this is just... This is the road I got to walk through to get to where I want to go or completely put your headphones on and try to get out of this place mentally, you know, watch a movie. Don't listen to anything that's happening here. Try to just leave this place. Just don't be moving and shit, but just stay out of here. And I feel like for that, sometimes that helps. You know, I have clients that put headphones on to watch their favorite movie, anime, whatever. And then they're like completely zoned out, you know? Yeah. And then I have had clients that are just literally staring and they tell me, they're like, oh man, I feel like it helps me to watch you work. And that makes sense because when I get tattooed, you know, by different tattooers, that's also helped me a lot because I feel like I'm learning something and I'm like, oh yeah, it's, I'm learning on myself, but I, you know, I'm watching somebody do a tattoo on me, but I'm paying attention to the technical things that they're doing. Yeah. So that kind of helps me escape the, the moment and the experience of like, fuck, this part really does hurt. Yeah, it's all about your personality, I guess. I'm the type of person I can't check out like that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> which is funny. Like, if uh, if I'm in a situation where, like, people are talking or I have nothing to say, like, I could be present. I could be w looking at you guys and just, like, psh, I'm gone, <laughs> right? Gone. But uh, in certain situations, like, with that, with the pain, or even when we were doing uh, the convention, right, I was driving up the thruway. It was a cold day. I had to get gas. The wind was fucking blowing, dude. I had to get out. I was just in a t-shirt and I was pumping my gas and it was so fucking cold. Right. And, uh, in my mind, I'm like, all right, I could either just like puss out and just be like, all right, I'll take $5. And get, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But what I did, like my technique to get over it was like, all right, I'm going to hold this on. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to just get to, to $20 and I get to $20. Like, all right, I'm just going to get to $25. All right, I'm at 25. All right, I'm just going to go to $30. I can just keep that process. Like yeah. mentally, like really just focusing in on it to me. That's how I get to the next level I'm just taking one step out at a time dude that's like going through like the people that do the the ice baths yeah. you know what i'm saying like that's kind of the same mental exercise that you're you're doing you're like all right i'm gonna just jump in this ice cold water and i'm not gonna just bail out or and like yeah. jump right out even though it's gonna hurt and it's gonna feel intense but i feel like you know it's it's one of those things that like some people can do it phenomenally like fucking insane yeah and some people absolutely can't <laughs> I've had clients like lose their minds at the end when they're getting tattooed, which brings me to the idea that all tattoos hurt equally. The level of pain that you experience during a tattoo can vary a lot, depending on location, depending on the size of the tattoo, uh, and the individual's pain tolerance. And some areas of the body, like the ribs, like we said, in the feet, you know, that they're more sensitive. You know, like your palms, super sensitive. I feel like. Every time I tattoo somebody, they're like, if, if they don't have a lot of tattoos, usually they'll be like, hey, man, which one hurt the most? <laughs> you know, and like uh, everybody always says, I heard the ribs hurt the most. 
oh, the neck looked like it must have hurt so bad, you know? Yeah. And, like, uh, when I've had homies that have, like, either their face or head tattooed, people always think, like, oh, bro, that head. That must have been fucking terrible. And I've spoken to people with their head tats, and they're like, oh, that wasn't that bad, actually, which is wild to think about. That is wild. Everybody's pain tolerance is different. I feel like women take pain, like tattoo pain, a little bit more better than, uh, is that, does that make sense? More no, I would 100% a agree little with you. bit, A little bit better. Shout out to all the ladies that sit like a boss for your tats. Because yeah. honestly. <laughs> Shout out to all the females. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Shout out to all the females, <laughs> like, hey, women. <laughs> Yo, um, but for real, yeah, I agree. I feel like I women agree. take tattoos much better because I've tattooed like really huge dudes and It'll be like a little thing like on their neck or like, I don't know, on their chest. And they're like, Ugh, like shaking or hold on, I got to get a Hennessy or something. Let me smoke before. And I'm like, bro, come on. And <laughs> girls will just be there with their yoga pants and their like book and their headphones and just like zone out. No, I agree. I 100% agree. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those uh those childbearing hips are for reason, <laughs> you know, like they're made so to, to develop all that pain. That Built, probably man. has a lot to do with yeah. it, yeah. And it, I feel like, you know, it's going to look cute. I feel like most of us are like, girl, just chill out. It's going to look cute. That's what I say to myself, at least. On top of that, one thing that a lot of people complain about, it's like people think like the tattooing process or the pain of it, it's only when you're getting tattooed. Like it is, but it's not. You know, when you leave... Your, ta- your arm's going to be sore. And if, for example, oh, man, there were spots where I got tattooed. Like, when I got my neck tattooed, I had bruises. Oh, wow. Dude, yeah. bruises that were, like, came down on my chest and, like, in the back. Just from, like, being like this and getting, you know, your that area tattooed, you will see bruising sometimes. And, like, people get shocked when they see, like, if, you know, they get tattooed, like, here, and then, like, around their armpit, it's swollen, you know, because, like, oh, man, I got tattooed here, and it's, like, your body just reacts to it differently yeah. in different spots. And Especially if you, if you got the uh, the old school uh, guy who's, like, gripping your arm like this. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's crazy, because, like, that's how the first guy that I worked with, that's how he would stretch people. Yeah. He had a huge arm, so it was like, <laughs> just freaking just clinch and be like, Pew. yeah, stop, which is so bad, so bad. Um, another thing, how do you guys feel about tattoo numbing creams? I used it on the blackout. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've said this uh, before. I don't think that they work. Okay. There is a technique you have to do in order for it to work. It doesn't work all the time, but after, um, we did the, the blackout, we were there for like three hours. Then it started kicking in on my other spots. But, like, when John did the bottom half of my arm, I felt the entire thing. Um, perhaps I needed to leave it on longer than an hour. Probably. But yeah, it's, it's not guaranteed. At least my experience, it's not guaranteed. So, for my experience, tattoo numbing cream, it, it can eliminate the pain, but it won't eliminate the pain completely. You're not going to have, like, a pain-free tattoo session. Mm-hmm. Um, nowadays... We've heard of, like, the people that are getting tattooed under full anesthesia. That's, That's wild. nuts. Which is yeah. fucking wild, I bro. mean, sign me up. If I can go to sleep for, like, eight hours and wake <laughs> up with a full back piece, like, fuck yeah, right on. Oh, you're not getting a back piece in eight hours, but okay, I get point. Yeah, point. all of that. You're not a good one <laughs> Not a good not a If good I could one. just wake up with a shitty back piece, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, the numbing cream does help a lot. I mean, and like what you said, application is... Very important. I've I've used it many, many times, both with myself and on my clients. And I'll give you guys a little bit of, like, advice. When you put on some numbing cream, use it generously. If you bought a bottle, use the whole bottle mm. on that area, you know? Um, and, for example, if, it's, uh, if it comes either uh, cream or gel form, make sure that you put on a thin layer of it, you know? But a layer, I'm talking about it should be visible, you know, where you have a small kind of layer of the whole area and then you're going to wrap that body part with plastic wrap and you're going to let it sit. And the idea is for that plastic wrap to help your pores absorb that numbing cream. And the better it sits in there and the longer it sits in there, the more it's going to be absorbed. Normally, it will take 
between an hour and an hour and a half for it to really start sinking in. A long time. And from my experience, a two hour mark yeah. is really kind of what you want. Mm -hmm. You want to have that thing on there for two hours straight to the point that it's really, really there. Now, a, a problem with what I'm saying, though, is that not all artists really like tattooing people that use numbing cream. And that's because the numbing cream does affect the way that the texture of the skin feels and how it reacts to the tattooing process. So, like, I've never, you know, disliked it myself, but I know plenty of tattooers that have. That are like, I was tattooing somebody, they used this shit on their skin, and I hated tattooing them. It felt different. It felt like, you know, the skin wasn't reacting the same. I, I feel like it, it doubles the amount of time it takes to saturate. And pulling a line, I feel like... Uh, I have to like do two passes. Two on passes, like you got to go a little bit harder on it. Yeah, I I usually don't like when people put numbing cream too far before the tattoo. I rather apply it like during, you know, like after we got through the outline and stuff like that. Because there's like a moment of like when the person's kind of resetting and like the and they get to experience the pain, and then they put on some numbing cream and then it helps, you know. Yeah. So when the pain comes back, it's not a shock. You know, that's what I wanted to say. I feel like a lot of times with numbing cream, you, if you don't use numbing cream, you kind of like build up this, uh, this like, I don't know. I don't want to say you for you, you build up this tolerance a little bit. Right. And you, you, you get to experience the pain and then it, it kind of like eases into it. Yes. But when you have the numbing cream, once that wears off and like your adrenaline is just not there. Yeah. Mm. And now, like, all of a sudden, your, your body's like, yo, you just been tattooed for three hours. Now I'm going to start fucking with you really bad. Like, that comes as a really big shock. Yes. yes. And it hurt. It feel like it would hurt more at that point than it would if you just had nothing at all. Yeah. Like, no numbing cream at all. I agree. And I think that that's, that's huge. Most people, no matter the tattoo, as soon as it starts, you know, people are like, oh, you know. And, <laughs> you know, even when I've gotten tattooed, like, that's the same way. Like, as soon as I'm like, ah, oh, that hurt a lot. Shit. You know, but after like 10 minutes or so, that same feeling is a lot more manageable. And that's because your body's like, hey, dude, let's send some endorphins over there. Let's help John fucking get deal with this bullshit that he's dealing with yeah. doing himself again. You know, and then you get you feel better. But if you never got that transition and that takes a little bit of time for you, like you're saying, like it, it happens after a bit of getting tattooed. But if you don't and you're just like in it by the time that your body reacts, it's like. Man, you got punched in your sleep a bunch <laughs> of times and you wake up in the morning, you're like just freaking sore everywhere. You're like, oh, fuck, I feel destroyed. Yeah. And I feel like that's what's happened to the body in that time. There are other techniques that you can do, I think, you guys, to really get through a tattoo. Um, for me, and the one that I always try to preach to people when they're getting tattooed, is just to fucking breathe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just, just breathe. <laughs> like that song says but uh, uh, many things but <laughs> breathing exercises guys just deep breathing it can help regulate your heart rate just promote relaxation and just help you manage the pain just take it slow deep breath while just focusing on what's happening you know and just release the tension a uh, man mostly dudes do this but you'll tattoo them, and they're just tensing up. And they're like, so <gasps> annoying. Yeah, they're like holding their <gasps> breath. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like shaking. Yeah, they're like, bro, you're not doing a squat of 300 <laughs> pounds, bro. You're getting a tiny tattoo on your arm. Just chill the fuck out. Yeah. But I feel like that's a huge thing. Like, learning to breathe and re release. and the, the, Your body goes through so much effort trying to deal with the tattoo, and then you adding that extra level of tension and pressure. It's only getting you more tired, more tense, and, you know, making it harder, essentially, for the needle to go into your body because you're just, closing you know, up. you're just closing up, yeah. you know, accept the pain, embrace it. Um, and when you're tense like that and you're, like, bearing down, like, the potential for you passing out just skyrockets. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Dude, you're going down if you're doing that. Man, I've had a bunch of people pass out um, when they tattoo, when they get tattooed at the very end. Yeah. At the, after we're done stressed tattooing, out the whole time, <laughs> yeah. and yes. then they're finally like, let it all go. Yeah. It's the same for piercing too. Like I won't pierce somebody if they're like from the get sweating, tense, nervous, and just like I need water. Because I've had people um, come in and I've done it, and they're like, I'm fine, and they're tense up, and I put once I put the needle through. 
their body releases the endorphins and they are like, I'm seeing spots. I need water. <sighs> and then I have I have had people faint on me in the past. And that's why now I'm like, if you're too nervous, I'm not going to do it. I yeah. think it's wildly effective just being nervous will have on your body. I've had people pass out. When I was just freehanding on them. Yeah, me too. Stop. Yeah. No. Yes. Before we even started, I'm just doing the freehand and they're just standing there. And all of a sudden I'm like, hey, Rose, stop moving. Mm. Stop moving. And then I look up and they're He's just dead. pale. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, you're about to go down. And they're like, I got I got to sit down. I'm like, dude, what's going on? Give like, him a jolly dude, rancher. It trips me out. But like, yeah, I've had people pass out like that. I think that's a common misconception too, that people pass out not because of the pain. Yes. Like people think, oh, it hurts so much. You passed out. Like, no, that's not why you passed out. It's the no. hype. It is the hype. They hype themselves up way too much. And like I said, another technique to get through the tattoo, to get through the pain, just distract yourself. You know, if if focusing on it is too much, do anything you can to Start just twerking. be this. <laughs> That's what I, I know. Towards the end, I promise you, towards the end of our blackout, <laughs> I was putting on like my favorite um, reggaeton songs and I was just like low key, like, like twerking mm -hmm. because, you know, it just getting my mind off. It still did hurt really bad. But I was like, "Ooh, this is my favorite part of the song. I'm like, do your you kegels. Know? <laughs> do your kegels right three now. times a day jk oh i mean no. one of my favorite things to do <laughs> is just to you know especially when somebody's like kind of going through it if they don't have headphones and they don't have a phone and they're like what or anything like that it's just to i i'm gonna chat you up man <sighs> we're gonna talk you're yeah. gonna sing to them I you probably sing. will. I sing throughout yeah. the, you know, I like a lot of music and I, I, if I play music, I'm probably going to sing along. But like, I do like to talk to my clients and I think that ultimately that's the best thing you can do. And like, uh, just the other day, actually, I had uh, somebody comment about, on one of the clips that we made about uh, the, not tattooing with your headphones, you know? And they said, well, headphones help me deal with my clients and my autism. And I was like, well, like, yeah, that's great. You know what I'm saying? Like, use whatever tools you need to help you do a good job. But does that mean that that's the optimal thing to do? No. It just means that, that that's what works for your specific case. You know, if you have autism and that helps you do your job, then it's understandable. But I think the best case scenario is for you to use that opportunity to talk to your client you're going to give them a better experience. They're going to get to know more of you. And at the end of the day, they have a much better tattoo experience. You get their mind off of it. You will have fun. You get to know them. They get to know you. Everybody wins. Yeah. So tuning out is, I don't think it's the best thing to do, but I think for some people, if you're not talkative, your client's not talkative, make the suggestion of like, hey, watch something. And then maybe you can be like, what are you watching? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the guys that just lay there and just stare at the ceiling, like I, that irks the shit out of me so much. Like, I don't know why, but that's so distracting. It reminds me of the episode of Seinfeld where Elaine and Putty were on the flight back from, I forget where they were coming from, and Putty was just staring at the back of the, the, the seat headrest? in front of him. And I think they broke up because of that. Because <laughs> Elaine was so mad at him just staring at the back. Of the, it bothers me so much. Like, at least close your eyes, man. Like, why are you just going to look at nothing? <laughs> just stare at the ceiling for no reason. Like, <laughs> shit. Um, one thing that actually does work, um, not so much while you're getting tattooed, guys, but like, definitely, like, after over-the-counter pain relievers, you know? Some Tylenol. I, yeah, just some Tylenol, some Advil. It'll help with Advil that swelling. Oh, it no, won't. Advil. Advil is a pain thinner. Um, Either ibuprofen. A pain thinner or a... A pain thinner. A pain thinner. A pain, no. a pain thinner. What is it called? You a mean blood a blood thinner? thinner? Yeah, all that. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Are you a professional? <laughs> yeah. So um, when I do piercings, not to cut you off, but like when I do piercings, um, I recommend Tylenol or ibuprofen because ibuprofen is... um, a, What is that? The... When you're swollen. Anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory. Anti um, and Tylenol. Advil, no, because it is a blood thinner. I mean, not a paint thinner. It's the, not a paint thinner. I'm sorry. I'm a, like one margarita in or something. Well, this is what I was going to say. Like, That's why if you take an Advil after your tattoo is done, if it thins your blood, it ain't going to matter. It's yeah. really not going to change anything. But if you're like, you know, loaded up on 
Advil before mm. you come get tattooed. Mm. Oh no. Then that might be an issue. But overall, I, mean, I don't feel like it's going to be that dramatic of an crazy. effect that it's going to change your your healing. Experience. Clearly, none of us are doctors here, and Obviously. you know we're not giving any kind of medical advice. But how much Advil do you really need to be taken? For your blood to be so thin that you're bleeding out during your tattoo. I mean, that's the same way I feel about how much liquor do you need to actually drink for well, that yes, shit to thin your you blood. I can tell you that. Let's so it takes one glass of wine for you to be squirting all over my fucking medicine <laughs> table. My, my <laughs> massage table. Yes. Yeah, I've been piercing for 16 years. And I'll ask when I, when I you know, on the thing or whatever, I see they're normal. And then when I do the piercing, they're like gushing blood. And I'm like, hey, are you anemic by any chance? And they'll be like, no, I had a glass of wine last they're lying. night. They're lying. They had a and, three bottles. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and it's just like, you know, because alcohol is a blood thinner. And I feel like it, it takes at least one glass of wine for your for the piercings. Because, you know, tattoos and piercings are different. They're both still an art. But um, <laughs> a lot of inside baseball. In this <laughs> But yeah, from my experience, it, it just takes like one glass of wine for your blood to be all like. Yeah, and if you're on any sort of blood thinners, make sure that you tell your artist mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that you always consult with your doctor or your pharmacist before you take any medications or anything like that. Don't listen to us. We're just tattooers, guys. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We know about tats, but we don't know about medications and shit like that. Uh, and the last tip that I will give you guys when you get tattooed is take breaks take breaks not just for the physical aspect but for the mental aspect of tattooing even when people run marathons they have that little bit where they like stop at those water things and just you yeah. know <laughs> and, and that helps bro like you know you still got those miles left to go but that little bit of just like i'm gonna stop here and just throw water on my face yeah. you know i feel like taking a little break you know when people just get out of the chair stand up go outside make a phone call just to get mentally out of what you're going through, mm -hmm. you know, and then you can jump back on and feeling better and feeling energized, you know? Yeah. And I feel like that will also do a lot. That'll do wonders. The one thing to not do, don't fucking take a phone call while you're getting tattooed. So annoying. That is so annoying. <laughs> that annoys everybody, <laughs> you know? If it's business, I respect the people that are business dudes that I tattooed that are like, dude, I got to take this. I'm like, I get it. But still... Don't take personal calls while you're getting tattooed, but by all means, take a break. Be like, hey, I need to take a break to take this call. I think it's actually good for you, probably good for the artist. Oh, yeah. Just so you know, as long as it's like at, a, at a good stopping point, we're like, yeah, that's a good point. Yes, I agree. Um, I want to piggyback off of that, though, that don't take too long of a break. Yes. Because if you if your body is like, all right, good, we're, we're done. Right. If your body like you, you trick your body to think that you're done and then you get back into it, oh, it hurts so, much, so more. much more. It's terrible. I agree to that 100%. I've been there. I've done it, you know, just because, like, I'm a tattooer and I've gotten tattooed by friends, you know, and then we'll, like, take a long break to eat, smoke a doink and everything, and then, yeah, let's go finish this up. As soon as we sit back down, I'm like, oh, my God, why did I, yeah. you know, it's, it's like I should have just called it, did a different session at that point, you know, but, like, man, for sure. That's why I give a lot of credit to the people who come back the next day to finish their tattoos, Oh. The longest break you could do, right? Like, yeah. The overnight break. Oh, Dude, man. Those hurt. Those are really, really painful. I've done it two times where I've done two sessions like back to back in a row. You as a client. As a client. And it was that second day, man. Yeah. As soon as it started, it was like, wow. Because I could feel the soreness from the day before. Not the soreness of, because I wasn't even getting tattooed in the same spot, but close enough that you get that like, if the tattoo ends here, you have soreness that extends, you know, further out from that point. And I was like, oh, man, I could just feel it. And even just the pressure of the tattoo was stretching my skin close to the other tattoo. It was intense and it was hard. I got a I have a lot of clients that fly in from out of town and a lot of them who are getting bigger pieces. They're like, oh, man, I just I don't want to have to travel as much. Could we try to you know do two or three days in a row? Yeah. And I always tell them, like, I'll do it, but I can guarantee you're not especially the third day. You're not going to want to do uh. it. No. I have uh, this one guy, he's he's in the military, so he can't get out that often. And uh, he booked three days in a row for his first session. We did two because we actually finished in two days. We finished early. Wow. And he's like, man, I'm so glad that we don't have to come back on the <laughs> third day. Again, yeah. He's like, dude, day two was brutal. There's no way I'd be able to do it, right? 
And now he booked his second appointment, and he, he must have forgot. He's like, ah, oh, I really want to do three days in a row this time. Oh, shit. I'm like, all right, man. I don't think you're going to want to, but, well, I mean, I'll book it for you. He's hurting for it. Yeah. He doesn't care about life anymore. That's what happened. He went through something <laughs> tragic, and he's like, I don't give a fuck. Maybe. Who knows? But, yeah, that, I hope that's he's tough. Okay. Well, I think, like, overall, maybe for that guy, the pain adds to the significance of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he feels tougher that he went through it. And there's probably some sense of value in telling people, yeah, I got this thing done in three days. I sat for three days straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there has to be. Yeah. I, uh, man, this guy's a military guy. He's jacked. That's, and it, that correlates with that of, like, he likes going through tough things, yeah. probably, you know? And, uh... Hour one of day one, I'm like, this guy's not going to make it. Dude, he was sweating. He was hurting. He was ooh, 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 the entire time. <laughs> I was like, bro, already? <laughs> but he, he fucking powered but through he it, man. Did it. No he way. powered through it. Let me ask you guys, how much do you guys think having a pain-free tattoo experience would be worth? How much? Like monies? Yeah. Like what would someone pay to have a pain-free tattoo experience? Yeah. I charge my clients um, ten dollars extra, like if they want a piercing or a tattoo, like somewhere. I charge them. I charge them ten dollars extra for numbing cream. That's what's that worth ten bucks. <laughs> ten, bu ten bucks, guys. Ten bucks. I mean, the lotion is like twenty bucks. So um, but like for the guys that, I, from what I've heard, from the guys that have been doing like the um, the anesthesia, the stuff? anesthesia stuff. Oh yeah. It's we're talking like ten grand. I think it's more than that. To start off, like ten grand, and but that's just I think that's the service for the anesthesia. Right, I think it's more than yeah. that. So the tattoo process, it's even more. Yeah, it's but like, they they not to cut you off, but don't they have to like have a staff and like yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, why so they it's have more to like than that. money. Yeah, charge. Um, hey, um, I think it's wild. The people that get tattooed for this is kind of sidetracking on like the subject, but um, I remember when The Rock got his uh. Tat by Nico? No, not by Nico. By the the Maori people. You oh, know? okay. The Samoan like tattoo that he has. Yeah. He got usually when they get those tattoos, they get them done in consecutive days. You know, it's mm -hmm. like you get that every day until it's done. And I think it was like he had like three or four days straight of tattooing Jeez. to finish this whole thing, and they're doing it all by hand, and there's nothing. And the whole idea behind it is like you know, it's like you're. You're attaining something within your your group, you know. It's mm -hmm. like you know, and I and I feel like uh, there's a lot of um, that's a big thing in, in in many cultures where tattooing is a big deal, you know, where it's like the guys in in New Zealand that are getting their faces tattooed and stuff like that. Like they're not using anything. No, that's just straight through, and like that's part of like the respect that you get for having that tattoo. I mean, honestly, though, could you imagine, like, being on the floor at the ceremonial <laughs> procedure and the guy's like, oh, wait, hold on, let me just put a little numbing cream on this. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I, I, oh, man. I feel like there's probably been some kind of tourist that went to, like, Thailand to go to the temple to get tattooed. And they were like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I got this thing online, you know? Oh, my God. Do you mind I'm if embarrassing. I use some hush cream? Embarrassing, guys. Um... But again, no shame if you use, you know, tattoo creams because I'm all for them. I've used them a ton of time. But overall, I feel like it's depending on what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. If you're doing a, a little name on your, like, your wrist, no. Just deal with just it. Deal with just it. deal with it. A couple minutes. A couple minutes. Just deal with if it. If you're doing something humongous, it's going to take months and years and whatever. I mean, go for it. I went for it. I was doing a, a blackout, and it was my first blackout, and I... It was my first tattoo. Before you tattooed this arm, I haven't got, I didn't get tattooed for like seven years. Oh, wow. Because I was so like ashamed of everything. I was like, I'm just going to stop getting tattooed because these ideas suck. So <laughs> then I was scared and I put the numbing cream and it didn't work and I raw dogged it. And um, yeah. Man, I feel like that happens with a lot of tattooers, honestly. You know, I feel like tattooers go through this phase where they're like curious about tattoos and they're getting tattooed a lot. And then they reach a point where they're either, like you said, like, I'm never going to finish the tattoo and I'm not going to get it lasered off. I'm just going to leave it, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And then there's that kind of relates to like other aspects. So like I could do this, but 
ah, whatever, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. like they get over it, you know, and then they don't. Um, I can say I do not relate to that. Oh, I mean, lucky. I, I, Wait, no, I, you lasered your arm. Yeah. Remember you had one arm that you lasered because it was crazy. And during that time, I was getting tattooed nonstop. Mm-hmm. And I kept getting tattooed until I started running out of space. And I was like, all right, finally, my other arm that's been getting lasered is now available again mm-hmm. for getting tattooed. And then I started getting that arm tattooed. And I reached the point where I'm almost fully, fully covered. I guess I'm like at, I'm going to say like 85% coverage, you know? Yeah. And that's, I should be probably a little higher than that. But I have like maybe one big spot left and then like three small ones. Mm-hmm. You're going to feel a mess spot in your throat? No, I like the little bit of yeah. space. Yeah, that's a good space. Yeah, I like a little bit of, you know, in the main. I don't like the forever turtleneck. That's what I call that. Yeah. When people forever just have that full no, tight. No, that's so, I don't know. Here, forever turtleneck, no, I can't no. do it. Only some people can get away with it. I haven't seen too many. Yeah, it works for some people. I just, I don't think it's for me. One thing that uh, I hear a lot of tattooers tell clients, especially first-time clients, when they go, um, uh, how bad is this going to hurt? And the, the tattooer will be like, well, you don't have any other tattoos to compare it with, so don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about it. That's, I feel like that's the stupidest thing. Like, you felt pain before. You mm. know what pain feels like. It doesn't yeah. matter if you've never had another tattoo before. I always that's my two say, cents. I, well, okay, <laughs> I can add to that. I can add to that. Um, when people ask me about piercing, they'll have piercings already. And they're like, is this going to hurt? And I just always say it's at your discretion. What you feel is temporary. Life hurts in general, and you've made it this far. That was so poetic. All the time. Literally, <laughs> that's what I say. And they're like, you're right. And then they do, and they're like, wow, you're the best. It didn't even hurt. I feel like <laughs> most of the time, people just want reassurance that it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt, know? even though it's going to hurt. Yeah, that you know it's going to hurt. Like, you'll be fine. It's, it'll be fine. It's not going to hurt that yeah, bad. Like, how would you That's feel if you want. went to the doctor and you're getting your little shot and you're like, is this going to hurt? And the doctor's like, yeah, it's going to fucking suck. Give me your arm. I mean, yeah, don't do it like that. <laughs> I tell my clients all the time and they ask me, like, is this going to hurt? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's going to hurt. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. this, this is going to hurt. Man, I, I'm, I can't help it, but especially w- while I'm tattooing people, when I know I'm going to hit a spot that I know it's going to hurt, I'm like, I'm sorry, man. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, for what? This. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh. Yeah. You know, but I, I'm like, yeah, man. I was in, sometimes I'm hitting a spot and I can see that they're squirming. And I'm like, I know, dude. I'm sorry, man. This is just, it's just the way it's going to be, man. Yeah. Uh, it's going to suck. So, I feel so bad. You know? But you got to do it because I always, you, it's going to look cute when I'm done. Yeah. You're going to like it. Cool. Ken, you asked for this. This is what we're doing. And you said, I'm going to sit here and do it. And you're paying me for it. So kind of deal with it. Mm -hmm. But overall, I don't think even if tattoos hurt a little bit more, I wouldn't stop getting them. I would still get them. You know, and I've, I've, I've said this actually in the past. I don't mind the dealing with the pain of getting tattooed. I hate dealing with the pain of healing the tattoo. That's the worst part. It is the worst. Jeez. You know? Especially if you have like a tattoo in a very bendy area where it's like healing and it's yeah. moving and constantly. Gushy. Oh man, that's a rough. That's usually more annoying to me. Cleaning it and putting the lotion on it and then that's your bed it. sheets. John, you were saying that uh, the pain doesn't stop after the tattoo process is yeah. done. I honestly think that sometimes the first wash after your tattoo hurts oh. more than the tattoo itself. Oh, man. Yeah, it's freaking rough, yeah. you know? But the first day where you got to just, like, use your hand on there, <laughs> get all the goopy yeah. shit off. Oh, man, that shit's so, so sore, so painful. Because you have to do a good job cleaning. Because you if you're just, like, being like, all right, it hurts. I'm just going to pat it dry. You might get an infection. It's going to heal shitty. You have to really get in there and clean it the way you're supposed to. And that hurts the, a lot. Tattoo nightmare here. One time, I did a tattoo on this guy. He came back to the shop days later. And he said, I don't think my tattoo's healing well, man. I'm like, what do you mean? Let me, let me see it. And I see it, and it's just, like, crusty and just, I'm like, bro, have you washed it? Oh. <laughs> and he was like, no. What? Was, was I supposed to? I'm like, yeah, man. It's in your directions. I told you the day that you had to go home and wash. The dude hadn't washed his tattoo. It must have been at least four days. <gasps> but this is the, the part that blew my mind. It was on his upper arm, bro. How do you know 
know. So he didn't shower. For he days. had to. Yeah, he probably didn't shower. for four days. It was so gross. He looked like he was a stinky person, <laughs> but <laughs> he wasn't stinky when I tattooed him. But he looked like he he was a stinky person. Yeah. But like, oh man, that was like I was in shock when that guy was showed me the tattoo because it looked like, man, like oatmeal cookie, like just <laughs> yeah, oh gross, dude, just scab city. Like, isn't that so funny that you can just look at somebody and you can like, oh, you look like you smell. <laughs> yeah, I felt like that with uh. Avril Lavigne. <laughs> she, just, she just looks like a smelly person. Really? Yeah. <laughs> smelly cat. Smelly cat. Smelly cat. Yo, but uh, I had a client, um, a similar situation. A couple of days later, he came back to the shop. He's like, oh, man, you know, my, my tattoo's not looking that great. And we're like, oh, what have you been doing? And his response is, well, you know, I heard that uh, dogs' mouths are cleaner than uh, than humans, so I was just letting my dog lick it. Get the, the fuck out of here, to here to bro. Jail. That's, That's not real life. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. So I hope you guys got a little bit of information here today. And most of all, that pain does not deter you from getting tattooed because it's only temporary, and that tattoo, as long as it's done the right way, will last you forever. For sure. Thank you, guys. Peace. Peace. Bye.